and welcome back to Excel with Eric. I'm Eric Dewey, and today we're going to be talking about one of Excel's more powerful functions, the IF function. The IF lets you make a decision in a cell and decide what to put in there based on other things going on around in the spreadsheet. So, let's take a look at how it works. Okay, here we are. In this particular spreadsheet, we have a list of employees, how much profit they've earned, and just kind of a rating on how good of an employee they are. So what we want to do is we don't want to determine if they earned a bonus. If they happen to earn a profit of greater than 5000 then they're going to get a $750 bonus. And so we're going to use the if statement to try and figure out if they deserve a bonus or not. So for the if statement's format is you start with equals if, open your parentheses. First step is the test. What is it that you're testing? In this case, we want to see if the profit is greater than 5000 so we'll click on the profit cell, type greater than 5,000. Then after the test is over, we'll do a comma. And here's we're going to put what do we want in the cell if it's true. So if it's true, they're going to earn $750. So we'll put 750. And then another comma, what to put in if it's false. And in this case, we can either put a zero or we can put in two quotes, quote, quote. And that will leave the cell blank if it's false. I'll close my parentheses, hit enter, and we'll see the cell is blank. The reason it's blank is because Malcolm Reynolds only had a profit of 3000 and he needed 5000 to get the bonus. I'm going to copy this down and we will see that three of the employees did indeed meet our criteria for a profit of greater than 5000 and so they get the $750 bonus. Everybody else's cell is left blank. So that's a very basic if statement. You can also include additional things like multiple tests. So for instance, let's see if our particular people have earned a medal. And the way they earn a medal is if their rating is either a 4 or a 5 and their profit is greater than or equal to $8,000. So if both of that criteria is correct, then we can determine yes, they've earned a medal. So again, we're going to do an equals if, open parentheses, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test their rating. Is their rating high enough? Because if it's not high enough, they're not getting a medal, so we can just stop the test there. So if the rating is greater than or equal to 4, then if that's true, we then need to see did they have a high enough profit. So what we're going to do is we're going to create what's called a nested if, which is actually an if statement within an if statement. So if their rating is high enough, we want to check and see if their profit is high enough. So another if, open parentheses, in this case we're going to check the profit is greater than or equal to 8,000, comma. So if the rating is greater or equal to 4, the profit is greater than or equal to 8,000, then yes, they've earned a medal. So in quotes, we'll put yes, comma. If the 8,000 is not if the profit is not greater than 8000 then they haven't earned a medal so in quotes we'll put a no close our parentheses now that ends the positive part what to do if the rating is 4 or higher now we have to handle the negative part what if the rating is less than 4 in that case again we're going to put in a no and close your parentheses working with a nested if is very powerful but it can get a little complicated so you want to make sure you make it as logical as possible and then we'll hit the enter key. Oh, forgot my quote. Copy it down. We'll see here the rating is four or higher and the profit is greater than or equal to eight. Same with here, but not here. They had the profit, but not the rating. And so that's how a nested if statement can work. You can nest as many if statements as you want. Usually after five or six, it gets to be too complicated. You really need to move on to a VLOOKUP or some other option. One last thing that I like to do with a, an if statement is it's a quick dupe check. If you have everything sorted in a particular order, you can use the if statement to determine if indeed there are two of the same item. So over here we have a list of episodes and some of them are repeated and some of them aren't and we want to know if any of them are repeated please flag it for us. So I'm going to do equals if. I'm going to see if this particular cell, B15, is equal to B14. If that's the case, then I want to put a nice big X in the cell. Otherwise, just leave it blank. Close parentheses, hit enter. 
copy it down, and you will see wherever there's an X, that's a quick indicator that there is indeed a duplicate here. Now, what I would then normally do is copy and paste this as a value and then sort that column, and that would cluster all the duplicates together, and then I could get rid of them. But again, just another example of how you can use the if statement. So there you have it, that's the if function. As I mentioned, you can nest ifs, but if you start to get more than five or six nested in there, it can be a pretty complicated formula. And in that case, you might want to look at something like a VLOOKUP instead. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Please visit my website at ericdewey.com for other videos from Excel with Eric. I'm Eric Dewey, and thank you for watching.